So a while back, I released a video on brainwashing yourself for success. Today, I'd like to be even more specific. So I titled today's conversation mind map, Brainwash Ideally from Within. So the world made visible through the five senses is made up of past imaginings. So it does not actually appear to sway your conviction towards your vision. It may, however, reveal past beliefs in mind, not in harmony with your vision, to be purified to transform those appearances ideally accordingly. So today I was running and listening to James Allen's As a Man Thinketh. For many years, I would listen to it every day, sometimes multiple times a day, as it is the repetition of the same information that purifies the mind from beliefs of disharmony, cultivating the garden of mind with all that is in harmony with your vision. So James Allen wrote about what implied to me that as one thinketh in their heart, so do they appear accordingly. And so do the life experiences appear accordingly. Now, I like to say, think ideally from the heart. And by that I mean, as imagination is the reality from which the world made visible through the five senses reflects, we can receive ideal thoughts within from the all mind, the source of it all, to think for ourselves ideally. And I'll bring up my pyramid of life model here to articulate. So what I'm encouraging today is, as Steve Jobs mentioned in his commencement speech, following your heart and intuition, everything else being secondary. So now I made a number of videos on the pyramid of life for you, which I recently put in a playlist, which I'll link to in the description. In summary, we have the big eye here, which is the heart of reality, the all mind from which all that appears emanates from. The top eye represents the sense of individual self, the I, which emerges from the all. The second I is where the I may realize or choose from what it already has in the all through desire. This is what we discussed in Sunday's video, which I'll link to in the description. We realize through desire, we already have what we desire in imagination as the individual self that emerges from the heart of reality here is already fulfilled. And the third eye represents the actualization of what is accepted of self, done for what appears as the individual by the all mind. So the brain and thoughts that transform it ideally originate from the same source. All originate from the same source. So the brain may be ideally transformed through the mind with ideal thoughts from the same source that generated it. This is what I mean by the title of the mind map. So the individual that appears may appear also to seek externally for answers as to how they should live. And as the world made visible through the five senses acts as a mirror reflecting beliefs, they may thus through this external seeking find what confirms and validates the not so ideal past beliefs identified with to play out as the same recurring patterns. Now, as one knows this wheel of recurrence, the self realizes itself to be beyond beliefs and acknowledges that the world that appears and how it is animated to appear is from association to beliefs related to the one cause within, I am. As you believe, so it shall be done unto you. So now the Bible states, seek first the kingdom within, the source of it all, and all these things shall be added unto you. And since creation is complete and we choose from eternity, I like to say that all which is ideal is automatically added onto you. As you find the truth beyond the past inharmonious beliefs in mind, the truth which represents love, fulfillment, and happiness. As Ramana Maharshi said, happiness is your true nature. And Neville Goddard once said, love is your birthright. Do not go seeking for that which you are. Both of them speak of finding within that which one may appear to externally seek for. This means regardless of what appears in or as the world, you feel now you already have it. This is fulfillment. This is what I mean by the self here being fulfillment. So the self may only appear to seek external empowerment based on beliefs that suggest that empowerment is external. 
And likewise, the self may appear to seek external fulfillment. The self may appear to seek external happiness, which there's nothing wrong with experiencing happiness, fulfillment, love, and empowerment with, for example, your artistic expression, sport, hobby, or business. What is actually being encouraged here is experiencing happiness, fulfillment, love, and empowerment which is to be as you are. And all of who you ideally are emerges from the heart of reality here, the mind of all. This is where intuition emerges from. So I'd like to relate this to The Magic Path of Intuition by Florence Scovel Shin. She says, Prayer is telephoning to God, and intuition is God telephoning to you. Intuition comes from your superconscious mind. It is God within. So this here is the superconscious mind. So I'll bring up the Steve Jobs quote again I mentioned earlier and over the years many times all throughout the videos. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you want to become. Everything else is secondary. This purifies the mind from untrue beliefs to receive within via intuition, the ideal thoughts related to your vision, thinking from the heart. Purifying the mind from disharmony also results as a transformation of the brain, whole body actually, and world that appears. So an example would be when I had my tech business back in the days. At that time, I was also studying a lot of marketing, sales, business, and entrepreneurship information. I was also around a lot of people who were starting businesses and running businesses. And there was a lot of different opinions on what to do or not do, and at times it felt confusing. What cleared it up was the decision to follow my heart and intuition, making everything else secondary, and by that I mean I may explore opinions, yet I choose the facts in imagination revealed through intuition that relate to actualizing my vision. One story of this playing out was, I remember I was out with a friend and I ran into one of my old friends from high school while we were having lunch. And he invited me over to his friend's restaurant to meet him. They both had started a business and he said, maybe there was something I could do for them. So I went over there and they mentioned that they were looking for a point of sale system. One that would ideally be to keep inventory and print to the bar and kitchen the orders. Now this was back in 2009, so the tech has evolved a lot today. So I called up one of my business mentors who ran a very successful tech business and I mentioned it to him. He said, check out if there's any open source software that is available which you can customize. He actually found one called Open Bravo. Now I always felt comfortable talking with him as he was someone who I felt was very fluid and open and he did not have rigid ways of running a business. He had very intuitive ways. So he encouraged my intuition. He knew that there were infinite opportunities within what may appear as unrelated. And not in a way where one would be confused by the many opportunities that were available, but rather by following your heart and intuition, you can discover the ideal ones from the infinite ones that already exist to grow your business. Florence Scovel Shin says, you'll obtain magical results when you really give this supreme intelligence the right of way. Now, many at that time were appearing to suggest that I should build a business further by focusing only on getting business-to-business -business clients providing the services that I was offering at the time, which was office IT support for small to mid-sized offices, which again, they were reflecting beliefs, which is fine. Yet there was an intuition about this opportunity, so I took it. The intuition is from the supreme intelligence that dwells within you, available at all times. By silencing the mind, abiding as the stillness, allowing that still, soft voice to speak clarity. This still, soft voice is distinct from past programming, which may have been helpful at one point, yet intuition is signaling the ideal invention or artistic expression from the supreme intelligence within you, like William Walker Atkinson said once. In the region of the higher planes of the inner consciousness, are to be found that wonderful aspect or phase of mind, which we call intuition, which Webster defines as direct apprehension or cognition, immediate knowledge as in perception or consciousness, 
involving no reasoning process. And so he discerns between instinct and intuition. He says, instinct sends its messages up to the intellect, while intuition sends its messages down to the intellect. Many of the highest forms of pleasurable things come from the region of intuition. Art, music, poetry, all these come from above, from the region of intuition. So now Nikola Tesla also once said, my brain is only a receiver. In the universe, there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. So what I practice over the years and continue to do so each day is receive the insights from the source of it all within, which exists within all of us. It is the source of all that appears. I like how Napoleon Hill said it in Think and Grow Rich. He said, the 13th principle is known as the sixth sense through which infinite intelligence may and will communicate voluntarily without any effort from or demands by the individual. The sixth sense is that portion of the subconscious mind which has been referred to as the creative imagination. It has been referred to as the receiving set through which ideas, plans, and thoughts flash into the mind. The flashes are sometimes called hunches or inspirations. Through the aid of the sixth sense, you'll be warned of dangers in time to avoid them and notified of opportunities in time to embrace them. There comes to your aid and to do your bidding with the development of the sixth sense, a guardian angel, who will open to you at all times the door to the temple of wisdom. Now we've discussed the idea of holy guardian angel as well and thought forms recently. I'll link in the description to those videos. So now being in a flow state or any state where the mind is calm and also may be engaged lightheartedly with an activity, we experience these kinds of insights. And also in relation to my story, being at the exact moment in time to embrace the opportunity. I'll link to my flow-based life series in the description, which I trust you'll find helpful. So ideas like Holy Guardian Angel or anything similar are based on personal experience and personal relationship to the infinite within. Each one finds their way, which implies the same thing, which is rather than looking to the world made visible through the five senses, which is the world made up of past imaginings anyways, go within for the invention, artistic expression, and the what, where, when, how that is ideal for you. And for me to take on that opportunity of the point of sale system led to much more business and also more business referrals for my primary business offer, a very non-linear approach revealed by intuition. Florence Scoville Shin says, you have no need for resentment, resistance, fear, worry, all forms of fighting, etc. The situation you resent will be wiped out. Stand still, keep your poise, and the power within will fight your battle. So to keep the mind clear and calm to receive the ideal thoughts from within, it is worth not chattering it by releasing beliefs of resentment, resistance, fear, worry, all forms of fighting, as those are not harmonious in mind. Here we're interested in listening to our heart and intuition, which emerges as clarity from a still, calm mind. And so what also helps with any emotional turmoil generated by the subconscious beliefs is emotional release. I recommend studying the work of Lester Levinson to learn more. She says, It is brought about by your word, for your word is your wand, when in the deepest despair is the time to wave your word over the situation. Baptize every failure by saying success. So I find intuition always provides the way to see the circumstance ideally. For example, many businesses were built on the foundation on what appeared as undesirable circumstances or what may appear on the surface to look like not an opportunity. So inwardly waving a word like ideal or success can inspire the clarity to see it differently. She says, What you see with your inner eye, the imaging faculty, you meet sooner or later on the external. See clearly your goodness, your health, your success, your happiness, and they will come to pass. 
faith brings fruit. So now the world made visible is a mirror, as she says, from the inner eye, the imaging faculty. So if you see in your inner eye what intuition beyond mind always reveals, which she says is your inherent goodness, your health, your success, your happiness, they will come to pass. Faith brings fruit. And so does the subconscious mind reprogram ideally accordingly. She says, let the ideal be the only reality of your life. Then the obstacle and the hindrances will melt away as you are undisturbed by them. The spirit is pure intelligence upon which we draw to tune in. Do not limit yourself to a one station radio of life. Tune in with infinite intelligence. So I brought up many key points today to contribute to purifying the mind from what is not in harmony with your vision, allowing you to easily listen to your heart and intuition, which includes emotional release, meditation, being in flow, and also a mental diet, which I recommend my seven day mental diet by Emmett Fox video, which I'll link to in the description. Now, I also recommend noting the auto suggestions you receive within that are harmoniously related to your vision, recording them and playing them on loop as applicable. Like I used to do with James Allen's As a Man Thinketh, which are ideal thoughts, which he received within. If you study the works of James Allen, you'll see he spoke about receiving from within a lot. As William Walker Atkinson said, many of the highest forms of pleasurable things come from the region of intuition, art, music, poetry. All these come from above, from the region of intuition. So I trust you found this video to be helpful. Let's go ahead and conclude this with an auto suggestion to further encourage. You could say, I receive from within, from the source of it all via intuition, all ideal ideas, hunches, and inspirations that are related to my vision, who I am, and what I desire to experience in life. This results in peace and harmony within mine, resulting in peace and harmony on what appears as the journey to actualizing my vision. If you would like a copy of this mind map, the link is in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk with you soon. Take care.